Good morning, everyone. So this is the full list of February 2019. I'm doing another video um, simultaneously. I think that's the word, but it's a uh, transfer. And I'm also showing the list on that one just to make sure you get it. So that was the full list. I'm doing the drawing tomorrow. And as you can see, I got all these colors set up because I'm going to be doing um, a pour on a, this is a, let's see, a 24 by 16 centimeters. So it's a sort of long a rectangle. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with these little cups or I'm going to do it with my syringe. Uh, we'll figure it out by the time we set it all up. So uh, there's no silicone in the paint because this is pre-mixed paint that I've uh, mixed. Some of them I've mixed weeks and weeks ago. It's totally okay to do this. What I do is I put them in big bottles like this, 250 milliliters, and the ones that I use a lot, I put them in a liter uh, bottle and I can just use them whenever I want. It goes really fast. You just squirt the colors in your cup. You just make sure that it's the right thickness and then you're ready to go. So for people that don't do that much pouring, I think that would be the most um, uh, best way to do it without wasting a lot of money uh, because you can just squirt in the amount you need for the pour. So I'm gonna put these aside a little bit because I want to mix mix the uh, the silicone in. That one's almost empty. So we're going to put in just a couple of drops in each color. That's all we need. And then we're going to stir it through. Maybe you don't want to do it too fast, you know, just before you're going to pour. You don't want to stir up that paint too much because then you're going to be putting all those. Eh, this looks a little thicker than the others. Let me get my water. And um, I might even be doing a, uh, a little add on <clears throat> how I mix my colors because I get a lot of questions about that. And uh, I think it's because people think that the magic is in the mixing. <laughs> I don't think so. I think the magic's a magic. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm coughing again. Yeah, we're, we're back to gloomy and wet in Holland, so that's just, you know, the way it goes. And then you get all these viruses, and, you know, I work in a call center, so there's a lot of people sick, and that's the vicious circle I am in. So, that's nice. Got that all done. Then, dark brown. And I have... Prussian blue because I really like to do that. Okay, we've got all the colors. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all, but I think we're going to make it a really colorful pour. So, what I have now is all my colors have silicone in it, and the one I use um, is the Dimethicone 1000. Um, lots of people have been asking me about the spray silicone. Uh, the thing is, guys, I used it a lot in the beginning, in the first uh, couple of months I uh, poured. But that stuff stinks to high heaven, and um, it's not really um, that uh, good to do because there's a lot of additives in that because it's used to spray on hinges and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot more in there than just silicone. So please watch out for that. I can't say that enough. Um, if you're unsure about your stuff, you don't use a respirator or what, then go for the pure silicone because that's a lot better. Okay, enough said. I'm going to uh, make sure that my canvas is fully covered. Of course, I need a little brush. Did I say little? No, it's not little. <laughs> it's a big brush. Okay, so I'm going to cover up my canvas. Here we go. Making it nice and... See all the air bubbles in it? We'll torch that out in a minute. 
Now again, there's a lot of questions again about the torch. It's just a creme brulee torch that you use in the kitchen to give your sugar that crispy thing on top of a creme brulee. That's the torch. They are really cheap. You can check them out on uh, eBay. Just put in creme brulee torch or chef's torch and you will find them. And you don't have to have a really expensive one. Mine are about 10 bucks because uh, after a couple of months they are so full with paint that then they stop working. Then you can't push this thing in anymore. Oh, see there's pieces, pieces of paint <laughs> fell off. I was cleaning it, but I see that I shouldn't have done that. Let's see. Let's get that off. Yep, it's off. So, there we go again. Now, that's most of the uh, of the bubbles. Only I see a little piece of schmutz. Yeah, that's German for a little piece of dirt. A little bit of schmutz here and there. I am so multilingual. I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in a mood. I can't help it. So uh, let's smooth that out just one more time. Make it nice and smooth. That's it. Now, torching it again. Now to uh, decide how we're going to put the paint on here, because I do want to do a little like a little push and a pulley thing, but maybe the syringe would be make something special too. And while I'm talking, I'm thinking, why don't do both? So you guys can see the difference between them. So you have the big hole here in the back. So what you want to do is cover that with your finger. And we're going to start off with the same color as the background. Let's see if it gets in there a little bit. Yeah, okay. Then I want some dark. And I'm going to layer it um, pretty much... Uh, a couple of times because uh, that gives the best results, I think. A little bit of turquoise, a little bit of beautiful green, another turquoise, then another of this because I, I want the 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 painting to be primarily be this color, and then just with a little bit here and there of this color. That's what I'm sort of going for. But you never know what you get, right? Not sure if it's going to be what I counted on. A little bit more of this. And a little bit more of the turquoise. Okay, we're ready. And maybe a little bit more of this. Okay, then we put in the plunger. We make sure it's in. Then we turn it up. Because we want to get rid of the... Air. Oops, it's coming out already. See that? It's squirting out. Okay, now it's... Uh, I didn't want to do that on the table, though. Okay, let's see. I'm pressing it down. Yep, there it comes. I do want to clean it up a little bit. Oh, I have not prepared... I don't have my wet little clothy thing with that I always use. I'll have to get that right after this one. Okay. So, here we go. Here's our painting. I think you'd like a little bit of a close-up. There you go. Put that away. Put it up here. Make sure we're in focus. And we're going to... Oops. Give it a little bit here, a little bit there, then a little line, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to put it up straight so I don't lose the paint. There it goes over the side a little bit. 
and I can already see some cells popping. Okay, those are some pretty cells. They are really pretty. But now I'm thinking, okay, see that? You can hang it up either way. But I do like them when they sort of move a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing now, making sure the whole thing is moving a little bit more to make them a little bit bigger. See that, how big they got? Now, do I find this interesting? Not so much. So, then we go to plan B. Because I think I... Oh, wait a minute. It's growing into the sides. I see that. Let's just give it... Then Then I think it's more interesting when it does that. So I'm going to give it a, just a little bit more time. Yep, I'm, I'm seeing them uh, becoming larger, and I really like that. So let's just give that... Sometimes when you're on top of it, you know, with your nose on top of your art, you don't see what's happening. So I'm going to put away my little toothpicks. I'm seeing my, yeah, I'm seeing them grow. So, and why why it does this is because of the uh, mixture I used in the, uh, in the paint and because of the thickness of the paint that it can move into uh, the background paint. So that's important. It's pretty much on the thin side, though. Of course, not as thin as um as the uh, the Rinska Dauma paintings. You don't want it that thin. This will flatten out, but I just wanted to have a little bit. See here, I see a little bit of canvas showing, and I'd really like it not to do that. Let's see, clean finger. That's going to flatten out perfectly. No problem with that. I see a little bit here too. I still see them getting bigger. So um, we're, uh, I'm going to leave it like this because I kind of like it like that. Um, oh yeah, th that's what I forgot. I was going to tell you this about a couple of weeks ago. I saw this great big beautiful series that I got really into. Uh, it's called Absentia, and um, the um, the star player is, uh, you guys have watched Castle, right? Castle um, with, um, with Kate, when they get married in the end and all that stuff, that is so cute. Well, she plays uh, the, uh, how do you call it? The lead in the movie, the series, whatever, and she does it pretty good, and it's, uh, it's a really, uh, wow, you should watch that. It's crazy. Now, as you can see, it's it's really moved a lot more, which I really like. Look at that. Then all of a sudden, it goes from ne to wow, because of the, uh, especially because of this. I wish I had a little bit more brown up there, but you know, you can't have it all. This is uh, something, this is a, a, t a type of art that um, you know, you put it on there and it just does what it wants to do and we're not really in control. For some people, that's the part where they say, you know, this is not my thing. But others say, wow, I really love this. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop the video. I do want to say a little hello to my colleague, Rudy Demurel. I'm trying to say it in English. Rudy Demurel. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I, um, I, I, I meet him uh, at work, he works on a different um, part of uh, that. What I, I do the service part, he does the sales part. So he has a team with uh, people that really are there for the sales, and I do for the, like the technical stuff. And uh, every time I meet him, he says, why don't you say that something about me online? Because I, I want to hear you say that. So that's why I just did that. So Rudy. Thank you for watching. I love you to pieces. He's a really cute little guy. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I will show you this um, when it's stopped moving because I still see it a little bit moving. That's why I'm trying to talk so much because um, I'm pretty sure 
that when you go back and forth now, so this would be a good time to do that. You, uh, under the video, you can use the little slider, and if you slide it back and forth, you can see it go go like this. That's really cute to do. So then you can uh, really see how this stuff is growing. I'm pretty happy with this one. I like it. The next one I'm going to do with the little cups. So uh, see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. How feel jullie allemaal? Tot zo. And that is, see you in a bit.